Hey everyone. So I was in the middle of finishing up my metal collection update because I was finally getting to that and then the mailman came and he brought me something I pre-ordered uh, several months ago and you know I'm gonna unbox this so I'm sorry that the metal collection will be delayed another video. If I look distracted, that's because we have a kitten now and she runs around everywhere and keeps playing with our clothes and shit. So I'm sorry if that distracts you, but you know, that happens. So, what I pre-ordered, if some of you can tell already, is my most anticipated 3DS game. And yes, you heard that right. I've lost interest in Pokemon a long time ago, I never finished White, I'm still playing White because I just want to pick it up, I don't know, I just don't really care anymore I guess, it's always the exact same and it just, it bores me. So, and Smash, um, I obviously pre-ordered it for the 3DS but I'm not looking forward to it that much because I want the Wii U version and I wasn't even going to get the 3DS version until we got the 3DS bundle but then they released the new 3DS so obviously obviously I'm going to wait for the new 3DS but now the, here in Europe you get a free game when you register the game so I was like yeah might as well get it anyway if you get a free game but I'm not excited for it as much as I am for this. You see, Tear Thread and Curtain Call. I absolutely loved the demo of the first one, but it was sold out so fast, I, never, I can never find it anywhere over here. So I'm gonna, I still have to go to eBay for that. But this one, the second my brother told me about it, I pre ordered it. I can't wait for it. I hate rhythm based games, I hate them, I suck at them. But the gameplay of Tear Thread is so awesome that. It sucks me in and I'm actually quite good at it. So at PAX this year you had the collector cards. Which obviously I made sure I had two sets. They unlock things in the game and in this super deluxe collector's edition you get some new cards too so I figured I might as well add these to the collection. But let's unbox this for you. Do you see a color pattern by the way? I love the kind of stuff. So this is my 3DS. Obviously I still have the first one, but I took the Zelda edition. I would have loved it if they would have brought the Theater Rhythm edition from Final Fantasy over here for the 3DS. It is also gold with black, but like I said with the new 3DS coming, why bother getting a, a new why bother getting a 3DS XL when the new versions are coming? So as you open it up here, we can already see the collector's edition in there. There you go. As you can see, the box is quite huge compared to my normal 3DS. I have a nice awesome black design. And all the goodies you get with that, by the way, is limited to 5,000 copies. And you could only get it from the official Square Enix website. Let's open this up as carefully as possible. There you go, now it's too late to save it. What I love is it was so cheap. I paid basically the price of the normal game for it, like 50 euros I think I paid for this. 
absolutely love this box. It's so huge. So we slide this out. Put this to the side over here. And this opens up. So we have the five collector cards. I love Edgar from Final Fantasy VI. I love this character. I didn't look what cards were in it. I wonder if it has the same ones always. Yeah. I didn't know these were going to be shiny as well, like the Type Zero one. Because see, the Type Zero are shiny, and these are as well. I'm gonna keep this one sealed for now. Okay, so here we go. The pouch. Open this up. That's a very cool pouch, and this is the exact way the 3S version, the 3S XL version in Japan looks with this print on it. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. This is very, very nice. I really like this. I don't know if I would even use it because when I transport my 3DS, I usually put it in something that's a lot smaller because I don't like it that this is so big. But maybe once I have a 3DS XL or the new 3DS XL, I'll feel differently about it. We'll see. Put that to the side here. And then we have a game here. Which has a grey design. doesn't say anything special on it. Okay, it does say here the bonus content, remix, bonus content, the remix CD 5 tracks and the best of CD 20 tracks. Okay. I gotta get this a little bit more here. How do we open this up without ruining this box? Okay, from the top. It's a nice little trick if you hate busting these bags always on games. You just take a very thin knife, you put it in there, and you lift it up on both sides. That way you don't have to bend this area here. Okay. Nothing else in here. So we have... Finally, after a lot of digging, the game itself. Absolutely love that cover. Nothing new on the back that we haven't seen before. And here we have the best of CD. I don't like it that it doesn't have a track list in the back. But it's probably going to have it on the inside. It's so horrible. The collector in me, it, it like hurts opening this, you know. But I already decided up front I want to be able to play my games more than anything. So... Because... With editions like this, you can always still find them sealed on the internet these days. You can still find NES games sealed. So, I'm gonna enjoy my copy and I'm gonna open it completely. Okay, so open the CD here. So let's see if there is a little booklet in here. Okay, good. It has like a nice track list there. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, 
bitches they skipped six i guess logs team is here as a remix on the second disc and there you go now let's put this to the side Nice, it has a Type 0 theme on it. Absolutely love the, love the Final Fantasy Type 0 theme. There's a lot to open. There really is a lot to open up in um, this version. Absolutely love it. You get so much content for basically zero extra money. You, this was a very cheap edition. You just had to be first. I'm glad we in Europe didn't get the troubles you got in the US. So we got the booklet, the Club Nintendo code, there's the game. A Square Enix product registration card, a little explanation poster. You got more paper in this than you get in some Nintendo games. I always hated that every booklet has to be digital these days. And let's look at these cards still. Okay. These cards unlock uh, extra characters and things like that in the game. Characters and items, I think, one of the two. So we get. Ramza from Final Fantasy Tactics. Can you see that nicely? Okay. We got Ishtola from A Realm Reborn. Yuna from Ten Two. Zach Fair from Crisis Core and Edgar from Final Fantasy VI, which is one of my favorites. So let's clean this up a bit here so we want to thank you guys for watching I can't wait to play this game it's so awesome yes 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 I know okay stay real